Welcome to Reflectable for Administrators and Coaches. When you arrive, you will see your dashboard. This is the same for every Reflectable user. If you are completing a reflection alongside your educators, you can complete that here. If you are ready to review the data from your group or cohort, as we call them, you can start by clicking on the menu in the top right corner. You will see a section for Cohort Admin. This will take you to a landing page with a drop-down menu for all your cohorts. Once you have selected your cohort, you can now see the aggregate summary data from that group. The top of the screen shows the name of the cohort along with important dates. Next, we start getting into the impactful data. Starting with how many reflections have been completed so far and the number of educators completing these reflections. As you see, this group has 23 users who have completed 140 reflections over eight weeks, about two months. We find that this data is helpful to see how active your group is in Reflectable. The Topic and Actions section gives you a window into where your group's reflections are focused. It is a great place to get ideas about what people are practicing and how you can support. I see that building positive relationships is a high priority for this group. As a coach, I may want to mirror some of these actions when working with my staff. I see many people are working on communicating that it is okay to make mistakes using the action. Remember that mistakes offer teachable moments that can help build understanding and responsibility. I know I learned from my mistakes this week when I tried a recent activity without enough preparation, and it did not go as well as expected. In the next section, at the bottom of the screen, there are graphs and charts showing how effective your group is feeling and if there are any trends in behavior change. For this group, you can see that positive behavior is increasing, but challenging behavior is staying the same. I can filter to see reflections for any one single topic. Since this cohort is focused on building positive relationships, I can select that topic from the drop-down and see how those actions may be affecting these statistics. This dashboard will help you support educators as they embark on their reflection journey. As you start to think about your own cohort, here are some questions you may want to ask yourself. What do I know about the teacher's other professional learning inputs that support or challenge what is summarized here? Which of the actions that are reported in the summary do I want to look for when I am in classrooms so I can celebrate teachers' growth? Which actions might make most sense to bring to coaching sessions or communities of practice for broader discussions that will encourage more reflection and garner peer support? Watching the summary data week to week can show how slight changes are making big impacts across the learning community.